I know everybody is planning to see Avengers Endgame for a second or third time this weekend, but if there's one movie that everybody needs to see, it's 8th grade. Easily one of my favourite films of the year so far, and it's very likely it will be in my top 10 favourite movies of 2019, and barely anybody I know has seen it yet. If you guys trust my opinion, even just a little bit when it comes to movies, go see this film, okay guys? You won't regret it. Guys, so today's film that I'm going to be reviewing and discussing is Eighth Grade, which is the directorial debut of Bo Burnham, who also wrote the screenplay for Eighth Grade. I have been waiting to see this film for ages. The hype behind this film was unreal. It did very well when it premiered at Sundance, and it's done exceptionally well like, on the festival circuit. Elsie Fisher, who plays the protagonist in this film, she got so much buzz for it and she was even in the discussion for Best Actress of the 2019 Oscars. It was released in the USA like eight months ago, but I was so happy when it got picked up for distribution in the UK. I missed an opportunity to see this film a little bit early, so I had to wait for the general release to the public and I was a little bit nervous that I'd waited for almost a year to see this film, the anticipation levels were very high, I was like, there's no way it's gonna live up to the hype. I saw it last Friday when everybody else was seeing Avengers Endgame. I went to see 8th grade and I came out of this film beaming. This film is fantastic and everybody should go see it. Bo Burnham's pre-adolescent dramedy about a 13-year-old girl called Kayla Day, who's played by Elsie Fisher, is one of the most authentic and relatable films about the foils of the teenage experience that I've ever seen. Kayla is the subject and the narrator of this film, and her self-help YouTube videos are cleverly used as a framing device for the narrative. Each time she posts a video about being yourself, how to be confident, or putting yourself out there, it feeds into the next chapter of her own experiences. Elsie Fisher's performance as Kayla is magnificent. What's remarkable about it is the fact that she's portraying someone who's so unremarkable. Elsie Fisher's performance is so natural that you forget that you're watching a performance. She is crippled with social anxiety. She has difficulty making eye contact with people. She has a little bit of a pot belly and a lot of acne that she tries to conceal with makeup. And much like the rest of today's youth culture, she is hypnotized by social media constantly on Snapchat and Instagram, and she also uses her YouTube channel as a way to express herself. She makes these positive and inspiring self-help videos on her YouTube channel, and even though nobody's watching, it's the fact that she keeps making them despite not having an audience that really makes you root for her, and you really care for her. My heart called out for her. I winced at every awkward interaction that she had, and I just wanted to protect her. Kayla's at that age where she feels like she's just a face amongst the crowd, and there's a very telling shot at the beginning of this film where you see her trying to navigate a crowded school corridor, and even though the shot is bursting with people, you really sense her isolation. And that's something that any kid, and for that matter, any adult can relate to, being awkward and alienated whilst trying to get through school. It's, it's universal, regardless of gender, your generation, or geography. The three Gs. Even though this film is shot through the lens of today's youth culture, and my own personal school experience wasn't identical to Kayla's, I still saw myself in her, I related to her. Every time that Kayla had a little victory, I felt that sense of joy that she did, and that's because I empathized with her on a fundamental level. I also admired that Bo Burnham didn't go any typical routes that you normally see in teen movies, like the shy, introverted, protagonist girl character doesn't suddenly become best buddies with the pretty popular girls at the school by the end of the film. That's not what really happens in real life, but we do see a lot in movies. But again, it's the little victories of seeing Kayla growing confidence, like the scene at the end of the film where she tells the pretty popular girls off. It's a very cathartic moment. And that's why I love this film, because I felt everything that Kayla felt. I felt her anxiety when she had to put on a swimsuit at a pool party. I felt overjoyed for her when she got invited to go to the mall with some cool kids from high school. And 
I felt horrendously nervous in a scene where she's in the back of a car playing truth or dare with this other kid. That scene was done so well because I couldn't wait for it to be over. I needed to come up for air. I haven't empathized with a character this deeply since Saoirse Ronan's Ladybird. I also loved Kayla's dorky dad played by Josh Hamilton. He's exactly the type of dad I want to be when I'm older. Nurturing, compassionate, patient, and laughs at his own jokes. <laughs> yeah, he was played superbly by Josh Hamilton. To sum up guys, I loved 8th Grade. Bo Burnham has made such a wonderful film that's sensitive and relatable. It's delightfully charming. Elsie Fisher delivers a star-making performance. I also really enjoyed the music. It was very synth heavy, but also had a sense of optimism. This film is very funny and it's touching. And what I love most is that it just feels so real. So let's ask those three questions. Am I going to watch this again? Of course I am. Incredible film. Second question, am I gonna recommend it for you guys? Of course, this is a film that everybody needs to see and I am going to say it. Eighth Grade is a film that you guys need to see before you die. It's that good. And third question, what score do I give it out of 10? It kind of comes with the whole movie you've got to see before you die status, but eighth grade gets a score of 10 out of 10. There we go, guys. That is my review of eighth grade. But of course, this is just one bloke's opinion. I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think of eighth grade? Did you guys love it just as much as me? Maybe you didn't. Whatever you think, I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below. If you guys do like my channel and you want to help us out, please don't forget to click subscribe and if you guys want to add us on Twitter or Instagram you can find all my social media information in that video description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching for more things related to movies, TV and popcorn culture. I'm Luke Kefler and I'll see you next time.